today is gonna be a pretty long freaking day from like 8 in the morning or 8 30 I think till 6 p.m. Um, and right now it's 9 p.m. and I'm still on my way to the train the thing is I woke up at 6 already to attend the first seminar at 8 30 uh, but then somehow laziness got the better of me and I thought you know what instead of going to the seminar right now I will watch the seminar recording from last year or from the previous semester and I did that and I had myself a nice breakfast sat down you know enjoyed my morning and now I'm headed to the train station to head uh, to, to the university because the next seminar starts at 8 uh, 10 30 sorry why is it going to be a pretty long freaking day today well because we have a full day of lectures and seminars and then when I get done at 4 30 p.m. I have to deliver a talk through the Norwegian medical student found uh, organization um, and more about that later on but for now I need to go catch the train it's mid-march and I'm still walking on ice Ooh, what is in the first trimester and the same with syphilis. Um, and hepatitis um, is also. Finally, the time. <laughs> Got the time to film. All right. <clears throat> In this video right here, you can see why I stopped attending lectures in medical school. So this right here is not a scam. I did not stop. I did not start attending lectures. But the thing is, today we had mostly seminars. And seminars are like much more interactive. They're much more active than lectures because we also have a lot of cases in between the lectures which, which we can discuss with each other. You know, so it's like much more interactive and requires much more brain brain juice. It's not like, it's not passive like lectures where you just have to sit down and listen to the professor speak for like 45 minutes non-stop and hence I have been attending these seminars which is actually quite nice anyway so right now it's 1 30 and we have one more seminar to go the last and final one in respiratory respiratory infections in children oh and I'm honestly so tired by now because when I get done with these seminars at 4 30 p.m. I have to head straight to the next auditorium where I'll be holding the talk with the NMF the Norwegian Medical Student Society Alright man, it's finally done, the day is over. My head is literally cooked right now. My brain can't take it anymore. I don't know if I have the energy for the, to hold the talk for the NMF, but I'll speak about that in a moment. I need to, first of all, refresh myself as well. This is the auditorium or the place where I'll be holding my talk. So here is the deal. The NMF, the Norwegian Medical Student Society, has like or holds this um, arrangement or what do you call it like a like a like a talk um, every semester where senior students senior medical students talk about their experiences you know in the different modules how these different years have been the exams um, tips about studying and then general tips about you know how to enjoy medical school at the same time and how these different modules are built all built you know so I'll be talking about the about the third and fourth year of medical school here and, and then we have two other speakers who will be talking about the first and the the first and second year and of course the fifth and sixth year of medical school. Uh, so this is going to be interesting because for the past two semesters I've been giving these talks online on Zoom and now it's finally good to be back here uh, and um, you know deliver this talk physically to and seeing some faces. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> Mängden är svår. Jag ska inte skrämma dig nu, men om du tänker på att du blockerar två eller lika mycket trumma, det här är tio gånger mer än blockerar. Okej, så jag ska inte skrämma dig. Men här kommer en men. Det här är mycket, mycket mer emotionellt. Det här är det faktiskt gøy. Du möter patienter som där så ok. Du undersöker, du snakkar med patienterna. Det är emotionellt. Det är faktiskt gøy. För det är så många sidor som man överlever av att umgås med psykologi, så har du på något sätt varit. Og da har du opplevd det verste, men det er egentlig ikke sant. Du har ikke opplevd det verste, men du har opplevd noe som ligner på det verste. Men hva er det jeg kom opp i? Jo, vi hadde en, og vi hadde også på Zoom, og da kom jeg opp i. So it's the day after, and last night when I got back home, I was so freaking tired, and I had a crazy headache, so I just went to bed, had some food, and went to bed, and completely passed out. And today I did not go to school, I just did some lectures like by myself, the seminars that we had today. Um, because I was like, man, I can't be bothered to go home because I also have to go to work now from like 4 p.m. till 10 p.m. So I'm gonna just head to the work and before I end this vlog, I just wanted to say this one thing that, you know, public speaking really gives me a huge kick, man. I love to speak in front of an audience. That's what really, you know, my, 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 my true passion is because, you know, speaking to the camera, this is also a form of public speaking, even though I'm not speaking to an audience, but I'm still speaking or, you know, communicating with a virtual audience. 
So this is what really gives me that kick, you know, that kick in life that you need, that something that really drives you. Anyway, last night was absolutely amazing because a lot of juniors came up to me, a lot of students came up to me after the talk, you know, asking for tips and, you know, just speaking to me, getting to know me better, even I got to know them. That was quite funny, you know, getting to know your juniors and other people from, from, from university. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching this vlog, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and subscribe. I'm going to head to work now.